Hey, it's the Fort Worth Playboy. And my Playboy's Bunny. Welcome to our podcast where we discuss pickup, game, relationships, and... Sex, sex, sex. That's a girl. <laughs> Holiday gift giving. Do's and don'ts. Don't. <laughs> You'll give the don'ts and I'll give the... Now, in real life. <laughs> Here is the Alpha Playboy tweet on, on um, gift giving. In the beginning, when it comes to giving gifts, just don't. Usually it does more harm than good. After a year or two, you can entertain the idea. And that, in regard to gift giving, we almost always say be a Skittles man. Yeah. Less is more. Absolutely. And that seems to be what works best. You know, a handwritten note, a joke, a poem. I was going to say, know. a handwritten note, not something lovey-dovey, but like... Yeah, exactly. Kind of yeah, funny. yeah. I mean, you know, or Teasing. or make a drawing of her, you know, like I, I did. Quality. Quality stuff. Quality stuff. Because girls will generally, if you say, you know, what have you what have you kept from your old boyfriends? Mm-hmm. They'll have a napkin where you wrote oh, something yeah. on. You know, she, she doesn't have the flowers. She doesn't have, you know, the the sweater. Or it's packed away and she can't even remember. Mm -hmm. But she'll have a box of things, usually handmade. Yeah. That he gave her, you know. So that usually has more impact. Um, The cards that he gave her, the cards that were with the flowers, the the ticket stubs for the events that they did, that they attended together. He literally thought nothing of. You know what I mean? But it meant a lot to her. Um, And that's the, the most important part. But in gift giving... Less is more. Yes. But let's let's drill down because this is going to be the hard one. This is a hard one, I think, for guys is hitting that sweet spot for Christmas. Right. When you've only been dating for two months. Well, I mean, we ran into that because we had only been dating a month and a half when Christmas hit. And I got you gifts and... You didn't, I don't think you even did me a card or anything that first Christmas, which is totally fine. I wasn't really expecting anything from you. Right, right. You know, I w- it was very clear. I knew that you, you know, were running a rotation and things like that. Um, but, and so, you know, I think when it's clear that you're a man about town, girls ha- want to do something for you because they want to... Um, Show you that they understand you. You know, I mean, we've we've shared this before, but that first Christmas I gave you like some really lovely like tumblers, like, and you're like, "Ooh, this is the ultimate Playboy gift." Yeah, I was like, well, yeah, that it was, was kind of the it idea. Was, yeah, that it hit the sweet spot. It you know, perfect. and a book and a couple of little things like that. You know, but it wasn't like a big fancy anything. Yeah, you know, but girls like to do things for men that they're interested in. Right, they take pleasure in it. That doesn't mean she necessarily expects anything in return at that kind of stage. If right. she's a fuck buddy, she doesn't expect gifts. In fact, it might fuck her life up if you give her a gift. Yeah. Where did this come from? Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> this is a weird example, but for example, <laughs> my ex-husband, our first Christmas that after we had kind of been seeing each other, but I mean, I was very much a rotation kind of girl then too. And I made him a collage because I do a lot of collages. And I mean like, not just photo, I'm not talking about photographs because we didn't have any pictures of each other back then. But he told me later that like, like his main girlfriend was like, what is this? Who made this? Like, and I tried to keep it pretty low key, pretty low key. But, you know, there was some innuendo there. Yeah. And and just the fact that who gave this to you uh-huh. that wasn't me. You That's know, great. Um, or someone that I know. And so you do have to be cautious about gift giving when you are not in a relationship. Exactly. You know, you have to be cautious about it. Now, I will say once you're in a relationship, it gets a little bit trickier. Yeah. You know, because some... First of all, girls, just like engagements, birthdays, holiday gift giving of any kind, they need some kind of story to tell. 
it's not it's less about the actual gift um and more about all the people from her parents her grandparents her best friends her co-workers her kids maybe who are gonna ask what what did he give you for christmas what did you do? And let, let me f- help you frame this in your head so you do well with it. Yeah. Don't worry so much that she needs a story, but frame it, I want to give her a story. Yeah. You know what I mean? It can be something that's between y'all. She'll figure out how to convey it to her friends and family. Exactly. You know, but something that matters between y'all will matter to her. Yes. You know? I agree. So, you know, because some guys get all, like, you know, bent out of shape because... She wants something that has nothing to do with him, you know. Right. And it's a female thing, but you don't have to worry about that. That's no. that's for her to take care of. It's Your true. job is just kind of like deliver the gift. And it's very much, I mean, you gotta remember, this is a skill too. Absolutely. This is like like picking picking a wine or picking a restaurant or getting a girl from naked, I mean from stranger to naked. Yeah. These are skills. And gift giving is a skill right. that you need to develop, especially if you're going to run through hundreds of thousands of women in a lifetime. You know, I mean, it's just something you'll come across. Yeah. So the better you hit that sweet spot consistently and nonchalantly, yeah. you know, the better. I'd say with, with girls that you're fucking, that are kind of girlfriend candidates, that are kind of low on the totem pole, but you still like them and you keep them around, you know, I think that's where the handwritten card, great. the the funny limerick, a bag of candy, you know, something super low key that takes two seconds to take care of is the perfect sweet spot. If it's the mother of your three children and you've been together for seven years, um, then you need to do something more than that. Now, I have exactly one friend in my entire life who actually genuinely gets upset if he kind of doesn't spend enough or doesn't give the right gift. Very rare. But make no mistake, they're not happy. <laughs> and no matter what he gave her, it wouldn't be right. Very rare. And by the way, we're not the, be- the best friends either. Like, you know what I mean? I-, I tend to distance myself from people who behave in that way, from mm-hmm. girls who behave in that way. Most girls want less stuff and want more experiences. So what I always suggest with real relationship people is don't worry about getting a big fancy gift. Maybe play tourist in your own town. Maybe revisit some of the the spots of your first date. I mean, I think the best, the absolute best anniversary type date is truly to like kind of revisit some of the original spots where you kind of Where the story started. It's romantic. She loves it. I mean, you know, it's, it's a fun thing to do and you can play with it. Um, but even if it's Christmas, even if it's, you know, give her the gift of concert tickets of something that she can look forward to. Give her the gift of, you know, if you want to get her stuff, give her the gift of taking her shopping, taking her on a shopping spree, give her a certain budget, go with her, hand her stuff to put on. All I mean, there, there are so many different ways to spend a fun day with her, to, to make an event of, of the holiday <clears throat> without it being, you know, a, a red Corvette with a giant bow on it. And even if this, this, how do I convey this? Even if it's not your normal gig, yeah. Like malls make you break out into like hives. Oh, yeah. Any of this stuff? Every once in a while, and I mean like every once in a while, if you pull this off as an anomaly, yeah. it has more impact. You That's know what the I mean? key is it's not what you normally yeah. would do. And nor will she ever expect you to, but it'll stay with her. Exactly. For a long time. Exactly. You know? So, and I think that has some impact. Anything that's kind of like, it gives you contrast. Absolutely. You know, it's a big deal. Yeah, it goes a long way. It's a big deal. The more the more um, old school, like masculine or, you know, uh, say you're a mechanic you yeah. know, or, or on the oil rigs, the further you can throw that on the romance side, the more contrast there is. It's true. And, and you never have to do it twice. I no. mean, you know, it's just the impact of that one time is pretty significant, you know. Yeah, absolutely. Well, and 
a gift gift that is really great. And, and you have to think about what do girls do for guys? I bet every man who's been in any relationship longer than three years has gotten some version of a photo book, scrapbook. You know why? Because they're sentimental and they mean a lot to girls. And you know what? You guys can literally do a photo book from your phone, upload every single picture that's G-rated, you know, that you've ever taken yeah. ever, into Shutterfly, say, make me a book. They'll literally do it all for you and send you a, a finished product. Yeah. You know, I mean, you can do things like that 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 mean a lot to her and that look like you put a lot of effort in that you don't have to put any effort into. And it's so all. and so out of left field. Yeah. It'll blow them away. She loves it. It'll be it'll be front and center like a coffee table book. It'll be on her bedside table. She'll look at it all the time. She'll always show her friends it. She'll reference it. You know, it's things like this are what matter most to her because in her mind it means you just get her. Let's talk before this thing goes too long. Yeah. Give me the three worst gifts that a guy could give. What are the three what are things Man, men should avoid? You know, it's counterintuitive, but guys, if you don't understand, if you really don't understand your girl's um taste in jewelry, please quit fucking buying it. Don't watch whatever the latest... Com and I I mean, I come from a family in the jewelry industry. So, I mean, I, I get where their marketing comes from. But don't just purchase whatever cheesy necklace, earring set, ring that, that K Jewelers or Jared's is advertising this time of year. Do not do it. Don't buy it. They're cheesy. They're not well made. There's nothing to them of any value. And everyone else on the planet's getting it also. So there's nothing unique or special about it. And girls' it. taste in jewelry is extremely specific. Yes. This is something that you'd never want to buy generally without some input from her. Yeah. Exactly. It's never going to go well. I mean, that same friend who complains about if he doesn't buy her the right, like, Louis Vuitton purse or whatever, he will spend tens of thousands of dollars with custom, making custom-made jewelry pieces for her that are so far off of her taste that then... And there's nothing she can do with them. No. Literally, there's nowhere she can wear them. There's nothing she can... You know, I mean... So, if it's going to be underappreciated, make sure that you kind of understand her taste. So, I would say jewelry, unless she has been really specific about something that she wants, don't purchase like it. Like if she puts her finger on it or <laughs> tries it on and says, I would love this. Yeah. And then you get her out of the store and you can, you know. Well, and a, a really safe thing to do, and this, this applies to engagements also, guys. This, this goes across the board in all kinds of gift-giving fashion at this point. But her kid, her best friend, her... Like, there are people who know her in that way who could help you. So if you're still wanting to, like, surprise, you know, first of all, don't have a custom piece made. Have something that can be exchanged if need be, you know. But there are people in her circle who you could secretly utilize in order to help you buy jewelry. If you want to buy jewelry, more power to you, but pull in a couple of opinions uh, and don't assume that you know everything about her taste because likelihood is her ta your taste in jewelry is actually more like whatever your mother wore, whatever you saw, you know, your mom wear, whatever your ex-wife wore, you know, that's not necessarily the same taste as what, as what your current girl wears. Let's see, number two, I would say girls don't want tickets or uh, encounters or vacations to doing your hobby. I would say a lot of times it'll be like, 
Kind of like the guys who will who will propose <laughs> at a baseball game on the on the big screen, and oh, she's like, funny. "I fucking hate baseball. I don't like crowds. Why would you, why would you propose to me right now?" That's very interesting. But guys are like, "But that. this is this is what I like, and you like me, and so I know you'll like this." That's no, funny. no, that's not true. That's not. I don't know what what would be a good third thing that's a terrible. I always say, like lingerie. It, it can be a secondary or a third gift. Yeah. It's something that you guys just exchange yourselves. You know yeah. what I mean? But every once in a while, there's some type of nightmare scenario. One, uh. if you don't know, like, know what she likes, don't buy it. Right. You know what I mean? You know, you'll just be burning money and she'll be uncomfortable in it. Right. But if you do know her taste. Yeah. Or she's happy to wear whatever you buy. Yeah. Which is the best case scenario. It is. You know, don't. Be careful not to have it in front of her kids, in front of her parents. You know, it's it's one of those things that sometimes gets fucked up and then she's embarrassed. Well, know? and again, if if all you buy her is lingerie for Christmas, there's it's like, oh, he didn't really get me anything. Yeah, exactly. So exactly. you sound like a giant dick and not in the way you want to. And you actually spent $300 and don't get any credit because she can't talk about it. Yeah. So... If it is, it should be a secondary or a third gift. Yeah, you know, so. something sexy, something sexy. But I think the greatest rule of thumb as far as gift giving in general is give her something that she wants, maybe something she's, she's you know, mentioned over the years. Give her something she needs, something useful, and give her something that you just want her to have. So, you know, that's where maybe that lingerie comes in. Yeah, no home appliances. Yeah, that's not as sexy. But... I hope this has helped. I feel like I feel like, you know, you kind of in a way have to gauge by exactly where you are, exactly the girl yeah. who's in front of you and the type of girl that she is, but we can give you more specific suggestions if you reach out with a little bit more information about your particular situation. And we can just keep you out of the landmines. That's important. Yeah, thing. that's what we want to do. That's what we want to do. Uh if you like our podcast, please like, subscribe, share with your friends. If you've been, uh, if you are not on our email list, I ha actually every single year send out a holiday gift guide with, you know, suggestions with um, kind of ways to play this so that you win during the holiday season. We want you to win. And Fort Worth, if you're in the holidays, he's got the holiday hookup bundle right system. now yeah, system. holiday hookup system and there's a gift guide in there too absolutely in all things we want you to win bye